Welcome back to PHP 101. This video we're going to get into if, else, and switch. So these are conditional operators that allow us to display different or do different things in PHP or display different information based off some sort of checks, some sort of condition that we write. All right, so let's start off with just kind of the basic syntax here. Let me kind of do this so we can move this up here a little bit. So the basic syntax is you start off with the word if and then you create parentheses. Inside of these, this is where we're gonna put our condition. We'll come back to that in just a minute. And then you create curly brackets like this. And so what this is gonna do is if the condition that we write in here is true, then whatever's inside of these curly brackets is going to be done, whether that's, you know, it could be an echo statement, it could be some sort of database call, it could be any sort of PHP function you put inside here. If this condition is true, that's, that is going to happen. So we could create a simple condition. Let's go ahead and create a variable like this. We'll call it number. We'll set it equal to one. And we'll check and see if that number is in fact set to one. So if number equals one, then we're going to echo true like this. Okay, so a couple things to note here. One, obviously we're referencing our variable, we're inside the parentheses. You'll notice we use double equals here. And that is, again, that, that makes sure that we're actually checking this number to see if it's equal to one. If we use single uh, quotes here, this actually will go ahead and set number equal to one no matter what it was set up to here. So it'll essentially override this line right here. And then it will assume obviously because we've just said it that it's true and therefore echo this so if we did this if we look here you see we get true and we could set this number to say three and it's still true right so if you're having an issue where and i've had this before if you're having an issue where no matter what the conditional you, you think the condition should be a certain thing uh, and you should be getting a certain result and it's not happening, check your condition statement, make sure you have double equals. So for here, if we do this, now, now it shouldn't show. You see we don't get a true because it's not equal to one. But if we set it to one, then of course we get the true over here. So that's a very, very simple if statement here. Now you can do what's add on to this, what's called else. So we do, write the word else after our curly brackets for our if statement and we add new curly brackets and essentially what this is going to do is if it's true then it's going to do what's inside these curly brackets else meaning if it's not if this condition uh, isn't true then it's going to echo or it's going to do whatever's inside these curly brackets so here we could do echo false like this so if we refresh it's true, so we're gonna get true. If we set this to two, now we should get false here. So that's how you can do a simple if else statement. This condition can really be anything. You know, it can be anything that you, you want it to be. Um, and then what's inside of here can really be anything that you want it to be. Now, another thing that you can do instead of checking whether it's true, you can check whether it's not true. So we can see if this number is not equal to one. And we do that by re replacing one of these equal signs with an exclamation point. So this essentially stands for not equal. And you'll find in PHP, the a lot of times this exclamation point will stand for not. So that's something to keep in mind. In this case, again, not equal. So if we do that, then is the number not equal to one? Well, yeah, it's it's two, so it's not equal to one, so that's why we get true. So this is a good way of checking negatives, checking to see if something is not equal to something else. So that's uh, another thing that you can do there. You can also do this between different variables. So let's set this back to one. Let's come down here and do number two equals two. All right, so now we can see if number is and we'll change this here in a second if number is equal to number two 
and we refresh that and of course it shouldn't be because this is a one and this is a two so we get false if we change this to a one then we'll get true so you can compare variables just like that another thing that you can do is you can create multiple conditions and you can use different statements for that so let's go ahead and create number three equals three and let's change this to one so if number one or if number equals number two and there's a couple ways that you can combine conditions so you can use and you can use or so in this case we'll use and number one equals number three so what this is saying is if or uh, we don't have number one we just have number this is saying if number is equal to number two and it's equal to number three then we'll echo true now we know that's not true because this is number three is set to three so this will go ahead and give us a false statement so it has to be with the and sign it has to meet both conditions right it has to meet this condition here number equals number two and this one here number equals number three so that's and with or you can do it like this and it's two pipes and now what this is saying is it's if it meets either condition if it meets one or the other so if we refresh this we see we get a true because this one evaluates to true number one equal is the same as number two here so you get uh, with the the or statement as long as one or the other is true then you'll get the this first line here you'll get the true statement okay so that that's some stuff to keep in mind also you also have a way that you can check not only the value but the type so if we set number two in uh in single quotes like this that makes this data type it changes it from a number or an integer to a string and so now we can, if we add a third equal sign here, we'll go ahead and get rid of this condition. If we add a third equal sign here, what PHP is gonna do is it's gonna check, not only is the value the same, so the value is the same, it's one, but is the data type the same? So is are they both, uh, is number two a uh, integer just like number the, the number is? So if we check that, you'll notice we get false, and that's because they have different data types so that's com something to keep in mind if you want to um, also check the data type you can do that by adding this third parentheses here if you want to check if it's not equal now you add your not sign at the beginning so you have your explanation point and then two parentheses and if it's not both the value and the data type the same then it will echo true and you see we get to true here okay so the, that's messing with if and else now the last piece or the last thing uh, that you want to pay attention to is something called switch and switch is something that you would use if you're going to have a chain like if it, instead of doing a long chain of if else so sometimes you may need to check multiple things so instead of doing if else you can also do else if like this and write another condition right instead of doing a whole bunch of those you can do what's called a switch uh, in PHP. So switch, then we check our variable. So we'll go number like this. So we'll put it in parentheses and then we create our curly brackets. And then inside of here, we can do a number of different, different cases that we can check against. So we can do case one, then we're going to echo true. Okay, and then whenever you do this, you always put what's called a break. So break right here like this. And, and I'll, I'll walk through this here in just a minute, but then we can do case and we can do uh, two and we can do echo false. Okay, oh. false. And then I'll, I'll cover that in a second. We'll do our break here. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna look at this variable right here, number, right? That's what we were specifying. 
and it's going to see if it's if it's equal to one. If it is, it's going to echo true and then stop. If it's not, then it's going to continue on and it's going to look at case two. If that's true, then it's going to echo false and then stop. So if we refresh this, then you'll see we get this extra true right here because it's true for this particular case. Now, if we set this to two, then you'll see we get the false here. So what this allows you to do is you can go on with these cases here. So you could, you know, do go on and do case. And you could check, let's say you want to check against a string like this. So you could do three like this and see if it's equal to that and echo maybe three like this. So again, you can go through and check a bunch of different cases and so forth uh, and see, oops, let me have my break here, and see if it's, if uh, it's this number is equal to that so that you can do a bunch of different checks uh, on down the path. So um, it allows you to do a bunch of different if else statements without having to write out all this if else syntax. Now, one thing with this is uh, a lot of times you'll want to set some sort of default. And so if we come here, we can do default like this. And what that's going to do is, and let's say, set it something, we can do echo, no idea. So we don't know if it's true or false. Okay, so what that allows us to do is if all of these are untrue, so let's set this to say four. Right, so it's not it's not one, it's not two. So then we can set it to four, or we can set it to the default, which is no idea. Okay, so the default allows you to, to display something if everything else doesn't match, isn't true. So if it's not equal to one, it's not equal to two. Okay, so that's what the default allows you to do on Switch. So again, it's a very, very quick way to, to check a bunch of things without having to write these long blocks of if-else if statements.